Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where I've been waiting very patiently for Update 5, which I'm sure is gonna be a train wreck. But before we get into the new update, quick recap. So, this has all started in Update 4, and we built this temporary starter base here. It has an old school storage room that gives us all the items we need so we can build some mega projects. Like our first one, our super massive fuel power plant that provides about 100,000 megawatts of power and a whole lot of plastic related things and uses something like 4,000 oil per minute. From there, we got moved and grooving with our worldwide train network to start on some new, bigger, more ambitious projects. Specifically, our nuclear power plant, which uses all the uranium in the world to make something like 200 to 300,000 megawatts. And with our power secured, we built a main base over here, but you might notice it's gone. I deleted it. We're going to be completely restarting our main base because of all the new fun stuff in Update 5. And that is pretty much the recap of our world. So remember to subscribe and leave a like, and let's get into the carnage of Update 5. You see, because Update 5 is all about train signaling and a bunch of decorating tools, along with some quality of life improvements. Problem is, my train network around my world is not prepared to deal with signaling. So eventually, you know, a couple trains are gonna find intersections like this, and it's gonna be a problem or two, i.e. our world's gonna collapse. Our nuclear power plant is gonna have, um, troubles, and anarchy will reign. So yeah, that should be fun, and it's already begun. That was over in the desert. Excellent. Oh, and wait, nuclear plant shutting down? No! This ain't happening again. We have to shut the nuclear plant down immediately. Activate emergency procedures. We are not building up all the nuclear waste. Train crashes around the world is one thing, but a nuclear problem is not happening again. So activate meltdown procedures, and that switch activates a bunch of resource sinks that are sinking now all of our nuclear products. That way, over time, our nuclear power plants will stop running, they won't make nuclear waste, everything will slowly, slowly, slowly shut down. And then the nuclear power plant should be okay until it's time to restart it. Yeah, can't say the same for the trains though. I'm sorry, my friends. Thank you for your help, but, um, we're gonna have some problems here couple problems. <laughs> oh no, was this train the nuclear train? Oh, this train has like a million uranium. So that's hyper radioactive. And now it's just booped everywhere. Great. Now I suppose before I updated, I could have just stopped all the trains and had them parked. Or you know, I could just let the game park the trains itself just by letting them run. And it's a little bit more uh, entertaining as well. In its own <laughs> chaotic little way. But I think that is pretty much everything. I think that's every train in our world. What's that one? The nuclear chew? With heat sinks. Okay, no biggie. And then there's one train that survived over here somehow. Well, live your life, guys. But now it's time for us to get to work. Okay. Let's go back to our main base here, and let's unlock all the new stuff in the awesome shop. And also, can I just say, wow, the game is performing better. Before when I went through that hyper tube cannon, the game was effectively about to crash. Now it's smooth as anything. Except its range is not the best anymore. But let's unlock all the new stuff. I haven't checked on how many tickets I have in a long, long, long time. We need about a hundred-ish or something like that in order to get everything. And I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Those fuel rods, they're worth a point or two there. Let us print. Oh my, okay. Big flex. We can't print all the tickets we have in the machine because the tickets only stack in groups of 500. <laughs> ah, yes. Very rich, very posh. What is going on here? Something, why is this rotated? Weird update things, I guess. Who cares? Let's get the new stuff. All of the signs. Gimme. Boxes. You better believe it. Walls. Oh, the new windows. Dude, the gates. Can't wait to add gates everywhere for the trains. And for me. This is why I had to make a new base. 
Oh my gosh, not only the walls, but conveyor lift floor holes and the pipeline floor holes oh, is, is going to change how building completely works. That's awesome. Uh, nothing new in here. Architecture tab, the new catwalks, fun. Road barriers, get them. Railings, pillars of all types, and beams. Give me those beams. And equipment, all the same. Parts, all the same. Customizer, give me that. Concrete foundations, grip metal, coated concrete, steel walls, concrete walls, and all of these little decals that we can paint on platforms and stuff. Give me the loot. Now, I was reading in a comment that this updates and should have, ah. The glass roof, tar roof, and steel roof now. Interesting. So you have to re-enter this to get that stuff. Thank you comment on that everything new and update 5 video. But now we should have everything, right? Looks like it. Let's have some fun. Ooh, what do we need now? Well, the signs need quartz crystals. The billboards need crystal oscillators. Hazard boxes, no biggie. Logistics, that's nothing crazy for the lift hole. The walls are all the same, but they take concrete and iron plates now. I think that's different. Oh, that takes silica for the windows. We do not have that stored anywhere. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Doorways, no biggie. And architecture, steel beams. A lot of steel beams, go figure. Look at those frames. They need the strong material. And oh yeah, the customizer. So this is like the big decal thing with the update. So now there's no more paint gun. You just have the colors in here, which you can add to your hotbar, by the way. And you can quickly paint things. I mean, this is free to paint. So if we want to like paint things black, uh, there you go. You just kind of click. And you can click very quickly. Like say, just over here. Boop, 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 boop. All free, easy to do, no problem. Uh, the color cartridges are still in the game, though. Because if you want to put a pattern on something, this will cost a color cartridge. But we have plenty of those. New materials. Do these cost different things? They do. Oh, plastic for the coated foundation. Plastic is now a building material. That is fascinating. The silica thing in that is going to be a very difficult to deal with. It's just another thing in our inventory. But deal with it, oh, we shall. But before anything else, we gotta figure out trains, man. So welcome to my creative world here. This is set up using mods in Update 4. The mods don't work, but the mod effects persist, so we can actually build everything for free. So there's all of our stuff, there's another one, etc. Aside from that, I also stored every possible thing in the game in very large quantities. So if there's anything we need, we got it, including coupons to buy everything again. So let's get into the signals then. We have the block signal, we have the path signal. The path signal is like the eye for the trains and can tell them if the path ahead is clear or not. And the block signal is kind of like the path that shows the path signal, hey, what's going on in this block. So if we had like a block signal here and over here, this is now a block. And I think that the block signals only allow one train and one block at a time. So if there's a train in there, another train trying to enter that block will be stopped. So I guess it's safe then to turn the entire train network into a series of blocks, i.e. just spam these block signals everywhere, and then we'll add in path signals afterwards. By the way, this might be unnecessary. I don't really know. I'm not like a signal expert or anything. I just wanna try and get the trains working. So at least right now, we're just gonna kinda go ahead and figure out the best working solution. The main thing I have to figure out is how to make train exits and entrances. So I almost always put train stations together like this, and I have all of my exits set up like this, where both the trains kind of go together into one like outbound lane. So, since we have a block signal there and a block signal there, this is a block, okay? We have a block signal there and a block signal there, meaning this is a block too. And then if we have our stations over here, we want both the trains in station one and two here to be able to check to see if this intersection is clear. 
So then we just want a pass signal because that should be like an eye looking into what the heck is going on in this intersection. So it's screaming at me that there's something wrong. Well, what if we put another one over here? Will that suddenly fix the whole system? Yes? No? It says red. Waiting for path reservation. I think that's actually a good thing. If you see a yellow triangle, that's probably like the whole system is like illogical. But this, it says it's waiting, so maybe it's okay now. So let's do a test. We're gonna put a train there and a train that's gonna be in this station. We're gonna leave that train there. We're not gonna tell it to do anything, but we're gonna tell this train, hey, we want you, oh, this is all new too. Uh, we want you to go over to here and then it will go back to this one. Save changes, turn on self-driving, it go true. Now what? It's just gonna park in the station right now. Is it gonna go into the next block though? Sign says red, and it looks like it's waiting patiently. So now if we get rid of this, that train should go. <gasps> that went green! And it goes! Okay, so that's super simple. You just have pass signals before intersections, and then you have a block signal at the end. And because there is a train already in the station it wants to go to, I put a block signal before the station so the train is waiting for the station to clear. Because only one train can occupy a block at a time. So now that it seems we have the bare basics, <laughs> it's time to start to juggle. So we're gonna get the trains running, and we're gonna start adding more and more trains until something breaks. That's usually how I like to learn these things. So we'll start with the two trains, going from that station to this station, that one to that one. We have the system at the end so they shouldn't crash into each other when they merge onto a single lane, and that should be good to go. But we're gonna add on more trains, like a train from that station to that station. So we'll add on a little turn going over here. Now I'll go to there. Uh, this will be its own little mini block now. So there you go. Those trains aren't crashing right. Nope. And now the next train should be able to go now that it's clear. And this, since we're gonna have a train going here and to there, this will have to be a pass signal. Oh, but there's an error there now. Why? Why are you an error? That's a pass signal, it's a block. Does this have to be a pass signal as well then? I guess so, it's a merge. That's an intersection, technically. Yeah? Okay, we got the red sign. So apparently logic is gonna work now. That train's going, let's get this train going. Rock and roll, my friend. Hmm, and the other train's already in that station. So the turn works out. What's it gonna do now? It's gonna stop there. No, it's gonna stop at that block. Good. These three seem to be working. Let's juggle some more. Now, what if we do this? We have a train going through here. Now stuff's gonna be complicated. I'll have a train going from here to there now. So we'll have trains crisscrossing going straight ahead. It's gonna be pandemonium. These two trains are going, hmm. No accidents. Yeah, we have that train in this intersection, so that guy waited. But now you should go. You do go. Yeah, that train's crossing just fine. Hasn't been any accidents. Well, it's been going too well for too long. So now I've added three more trains. And I think what this is gonna just do is just clog up the system. And then we'll try and figure out a solution for that. We have this interchange, right? But it's slowing down our whole system considerably. Like only one train can go through here. But what if one train is going from that station to that station, and one train is going from that station to that station, i.e. it's just going straight? How could we allow for both trains to go through at the same time? I think the pass signals can look at other pass signals as well. So I'm theorizing we could put pass signals in between this junction, and then have that facing the right direction now. And it's saying there's a problem. And what I assume is, we have to have this go to here, remerge there, because we have this pass signal now looking at this intersection, 
Then we need another path signal looking at this intersection, I think. Like, that's the logic with the other intersections. Why wouldn't it work out here, you know? And we don't have any warnings. So maybe it's... Oh, yeah, it's good. You look at that. Look at that. We had a train going there and there. Oh, so that's... Yeah, really simple. You just have to break down the blocks a little bit. Oh, we just saw it right there. The train was going through this diagonal, and that train stopped right here. So yeah, these pass signals are looking into each other. So this logic checks out. Let's do it for real then. We're gonna start in our storage room base area, because this train system is its own closed loop. And to begin, we'll put block signals all over the train tracks. As an FYI, we have an inbound and an outbound train line. So all the trains move in one single loop. So if you had a single train line, like trains would both go forward and backwards on one line, I guess you'd have to have like a pass-through lane or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, for our system, things should be pretty straightforward. But yeah, at most normal intersections, yeah, we just have a pass signal looking over this way because it wants to check out if this block is clear. And now this all should work. The pass signal goes to the block over there, same with over there, and every other direction is the same. Getting back to this weird intersection though, this one's weird because we have both the inbound and outbound track going onto one track. So a train would go onto this track, go to the station, and then head back on the same track to re-enter the loop. I, I guess there's only really one option. The pass signal would have to look at this whole thing as one block. And then, as the train comes back out, we'd have to have the pass signal looking to see if this intersection's clear again. And we cannot put any more block signals in here, at least as it sits right now. Because say if we had a block signal up ahead here, right? Well then, a train could go from the main track, park itself right here, but then another train could be on its way back, and they would boop each other right here. But we don't want no booping, at least not of this variety. But if we did want to make something like this work, yeah, we'd have to have a pass-by lane. So a train would go from the main track, go into here, kind of park off to the side until this train leaves the system. And then the train in the parking spot would go back over there. Uh, that is a story for another time though. Today we just want our world working again. Like, please, chew, get back on the track, brother. You too. Oh boy, but all the stations should have their proper logic now. I set the trains to run again, and the system, at least for now, seems to be oper- What happened to my map? Oh, sorry. Uh, the system seems to be operational now. We only have three small trains going around here, so I doubt anything bad will happen. Like, our test world was a pretty good stress test of uh, at least our current understanding of the logic. So we'll just let this go for now. We have a lot more to do. I have a train system, or at least a network, built around the entire map. Like it's one giant loop that goes everywhere. And guess what? We have to add in all of the block signals to the entire world. Yeah, so that will take a minute. Maybe even two. And if that other train system breaks in that time, I'll let you know. But I'm pretty confident it will be fine. And wow, you're not gonna believe it, but it almost took me three minutes to get all these signs in. But we're good. Uh, we should be good. Just to use the same logic literally everywhere, and now it's time to test it all out. Chew! Reincarnate! Come back. Good man. And the last two, I think, are over here. Yep, the nuclear chew. Hmm. Okay. There we go. So let's just set these all to automatically go around the world. We will see what will happen. And if all is well and good, everything will just continue as normal. Or there'll be a massive accident. Either or, can't wait to see what happens. And wouldn't you know it, it literally took only one day for everything to break. Again. And it wasn't even a fun break either. It's just a bunch of warnings saying, the train signals are making the next stop unreachable. Well, how did I do that? Well, the situation here is that we have our main line, our inbound and outbound line, go into one train track here, and this one train track goes into two stations. So one here, one there. And this is the train that's stuck. I am certain I did the signals right over here. 
It's a pass signal. Yep. Going into a block signal. Gotcha. And there's a pass signal there. Great. So let me guess. It's a problem over here. Pass signal there. Pass signal there. What is the dealio? What if it's just more pass signals? Thoughts? Sometimes it do just be like that. Sometimes it don't just be like that. Wait. What am I saying? There's always room for more path signals. What's this one? This one is a block signal. Let's make it a path signal. There we go. Oh, what do you look at that? There comes the chew. And I, I think this should work. You see if, jeez. If everything's pass signals up there, or at least most things, I think only one train will be allowed up there. Except for the stations themselves are a block, so a train can be parked in the station, and if another train is coming up, that train will be forced to wait in the station, and then once the other train goes to its station, the other train that's up there can leave. Does that make sense? Probably not. Anyway, it's working now. And what's the next problem? Oh, these three stooges. What is your deal, nuclear chew? Air support inbound, we got trains stuck on the track. Why is there no chew? They're not crashed, they're just waiting. Why are you just waiting there? Chew. Uh-oh, the signal. What is the signal saying? That that train is full of uranium. Okay, watch out for that one. What? What's the problem? The next signal's broken. Oh boy, we got the whole nine yards going here. Was it you, spooky spiders? Did you mess up my true? Get out. Get out. Surrender your flesh. Still broken. What the heck is up with that? Oh boy, we got a we got a real problem here. Once we get past all those air signs, everything's normal. Everything's fine. These signs are fine. It's just like a train stop. Wait a second. Wait. I think the train tracks are too close together. I think, yeah, that, that has to be like the only problem. If the train signals are fine, or are at least good enough to get the trains to this cave, and then the train signals are fine up there, this is like the only other thing, right? So, let's just scoot you guys out of the way just a tiny bit. Will that be sufficient? Am I hearing a train? I'm seeing a train, interesting. So you can't have them too close together or else death. Very weird. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of problems like that throughout my world, but you know, that's not really a big deal. So you know what? I'll just ride this train around the world and see what breaks. What the, p ah, what? What happened? My chew, what happened? What did you do? What did you do? Oh my gosh. What actually just happened there? Why did the trains collide? Everything ran just fine. It's not like, th there's not even a track merge here. Get out of here, bud. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Dude, the tracks aren't even connected. It must be something with the train's hitbox. It has to be then. So on this curve here, the tracks are so close together, the trains booped each other. Well, I guess that's like annoying, but not the end of the world. Just tracks have to be moved a little bit here and there. Well, there we go. Easy solutions, just lots of problems. But I think we got a handle on things, which is good because I have had enough with train signals for one day. And next time, we're gonna come back to our nuclear power plant here. And since it was shut down for so long, we are going to redecorate. We're gonna make a better looking control room here. Make the front look update five suitable and mess around with all the new decoration tools. However though, that's gonna be all here for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye